Here's my DC Multiverse custom Batmobile. I followed the um, Ibrahim tutorial and I made some adjustments to the lights right here. These are door stoppers and here to the lights, which is in my opinion, pretty difficult to get in. Uh, I got some um, pretty weird um, acrylic um, synthetic paper and then I had a, like a thicker white one and then I added the yellow one on top so now the lights look way more faded um, they're not placed right I can see right now because this one here the lights coming more from this side but it needs to be more spread like this one um, it doesn't really have battle damage or anything but I do love this um, swivel down but you can see that it's not perfect because this is all done by hand um, I paired with the Mesco the bat uh michael keaton batman let's go um but yeah this is i i think pretty cool especially from a distance looks way better than that higher one um that they originally released so this cockpit like way more mean looking um i really like that actually uh i didn't give a crap about the new version releasing with an 89 batman <laughs> honestly it's nice for the people but um, <laughs> uh, the, the fact that they painted it black this time <laughs> then uh, got people to buy it again. I mean, I mean if you missed on the art of, art of this Batmobile, you could have just better not bought the 89 Batmobile, got the Flash Batmobile because it was probably going to be cheaper because of the gray canopy. Do this method and then uh, have a nicer, I think, Batmobile. Um, and you are not ever going to get a complete version by McFarlane, at least uh, something close to this. It means of the, the colors being more solid or, or lights or anything, just as the bat wing. So it's pretty nice. And um, also just talking about the bat signal, like this is a bat signal I got for, our, um, for my birthday. Um, it, it happened to have a um, Batman figure, which you can put on top, but I didn't want to do that. Um, this one lights up uh, pretty well and um, there's electronics inside and this this all is pretty solid and I think this one was like 50 and if you can see like Batman next to it that's pretty nice scaling but now for that six pack they drew, they're doing a um, different bat signal next to that I don't really think that that looks impressive or that's the reason why you should get that but it is cool that they're doing a um, like 90s style uh, Batman figures and they're also going to be including these um, these different plates for the bat signal but I got this one I do I, I'm like hesitating on buying a custom version from a um, customizer from Malaysia I think um, so many talented people over there uh, especially in the finer details and the um, the stuff that's just not being made by um, people here in the Netherlands or are even close by so um, that's really interesting to see just the difference but then again that bat signal is I think $100 this one was 50 this pretty solid I just put it next to this Batman so it's here in the back um, yeah I, I need to look at like what my definitive things are going to be for the uh, Batmobile it means of the diorama stuff because I don't I don't know if I want to paint this or, or get some backgrounds for that I don't just don't know if I want to do that so here's this uh, the Batman uh, diorama and here's this the goons and just some stuff I'm working on um, Justice League most likely and then this is something new I was working on this bigger parademon with a um, uh, this is a Warhammer figure and then I, I drilled in some holes to get these uh, wings in. Then I replicate these wings by getting a mold and then pouring epoxy resin in there. Then I can like just copy these wings if I get more of these figures because otherwise these figures don't have the wings. So just trying to get like a quite versatile army uh, for like army builder stuff and then Filling up those shelves with all these different pieces in the same color scheme. That's just what works for me personally. So this is quite cool here. And then on this side we have this currently. Um, I did pull the trigger on another jazzing dioramas um, 
Batmobile, somebody sold it for lower than what I paid for it and I saw that the resale price is close to six and the retail price is also close to six at the moment. Then we got this in print condition. Um, bad signal, which is uh, quite nice. This was 50 euros to print from someone uh, who like prints dioramas for me uh, on request. Then I pay, uh, ask him what it costs and then most likely will always settle for a nice price. And then uh, I get stuff like this in the mail. So pretty cool. Uh, I think the scale is, is big, but it's um, impressive on the shelf. And that's what's important. Also have this Muff Toys hat on this uh, Mesco Superman. This is my the Batman uh, version of uh, like diorama. Currently, I don't know why. I have some lights in there as well, just by doing that. Actually, just the same set of lights as I had in the um, '89 Batmobile. So just with Selina, and then Batman's over on the left side. And here we have some more Army Builder stuff with the Zod and then uh, this is the newest addition to that like uh, from the Flash like Superman soldier or um, a Kryptonian soldier in the armor and then I had a few of these masks left uh, cut off the tubing and then um, yeah it's just something like this but I mean when you put them all together that's what's what, what makes it strong I think it means of a display you can just blend in the background and these Superman soldiers are supposed to be with that nightmare sequence. But I wanna, I don't wanna display the nightmare figures until I have that third party Joker. Caillou toys, something like that. I think it's delayed, but um, definitely worth the wait so I can put that in that team. Then I have that complete team, that would be pretty cool. So that's it, let me know what you think.